such a beautiful day today. Well, I am in Auckland Domain Park and it's just super gorgeous out here. What a better place to do this video today because I love world. Yes, we do, right? But have you noticed? Well, these days the world has become so rude. Well, you know, the other day I was talking to my friend and I said that do you feel that the world is really rude these days or is it just me, a grumpy old lady? Well, she laughed and she was like, well, yeah, kind of. Well, it is true, you know, nowadays, uh, be it your friends, be it your family or be it the people living in your apartment, they kind of act as if I don't exist. Well, there's plenty of rudeness. Well, even the unfortunate benefits of social media is that it allows people to say things to each other that they, they would never say face to face. So celebrities and regular citizens kind of go on these rants online. And guess what? It just sounds so rude. Well, I can do my best to combat the crudeness. Well, in my mother's word, I'm going to kill them with my kindness. Well, yes, I'm trying to be a kinder and a better person. And I encourage you to do that too. Now, in this lesson today, I'm going to help you with these 10 little things that you can do. Because why not make someone's day a happier one? So guys, let's have a look at the 10 things that you can do that will show that you are such a kind person. Well, here's the first little thing is compliment. It's so simple. But going out of your way to lift up someone else's day is really rewarding. Now, think of the times you have felt down and a random compliment someone who just said, oh my God, you look so pretty today. Well, you feel great, right? So compliment people, maybe for the way they look today or compliment on their work that, oh my God, this is amazing. What a great job, keep it up. Well, this would certainly change the world. Well, it is a little thing, but it works. Here's the next one, hold the door open. Well, I have seen so many people that they just leave the door without even caring if someone is walking right behind them. Like last night, well, I had my groceries bag and the guy ahead of me walked into the door and kind of slammed the door, not knowing that I was there, I was not there. Well, he didn't care. Well, that's pretty rude. Well, if you hold the door for someone, it just shows an etiquette. Well, yes, it's the essence of politeness. Now, this would be a very simple act, but trust me, it will be an honored one. And it definitely shows that what a polished person you are. So the next time you are exiting or walking into a door, well, it's just going to take you 10 seconds to hold the door for the other person to come in or to walk out. Well, this one is my favorite. Give more hugs. Well, apparently humans need 12 hugs a day for good growth. Yes, hugging makes you healthier. You heard it right. It makes you healthier without any pills. So start giving more hugs. Hugs can be instant and it can really boost oxytocin levels in your body. Well, it kind of releases these hormones that kind of helps a person who's really lonely. So it's definitely a positive sign for someone to give a hug to the other person. Well, you just show your kindness and your warmth and of course your presence. So well, don't hug random people, but definitely your friends, your family, probably your colleagues or someone you know really close, well, go hug them today. Hey, 
Hey, here's the next act. Well, respond to emails, texts, phone calls. Well, I'll be honest, even I got to work on this. Well, one should not ignore your friends and family. You never know why are they calling or texting. Well, it can be an emergency and you don't want to regret. So however busy your schedule is, please remove a minute to call back or text back. And I promise I'm going to work on that too. Another one is interact with the people you encounter every day. Now be it your laundry guy or your newspaper vendor, well talk to the guys who work at the corner store. Develop a friendly relationship with the lady who makes your coffee every day just the way you like it. Well, these are the people who do our jobs and make our lives easier. So be kind to them and in return see the smile they have on their face. Shows that you really care. So you know, just go ahead and talk to them. Well, don't be over friendly. But yes, a little smile, a little hello and just asking that how they are doing today really works. Well, here's another thing that you can do is stop complaining. You need to start being a little tolerant about things and of course a little flexible in today's world. So one should stop complaining and arguing or cribbing about little things. Believe me you, your positivity will encourage other people too. So stop complaining. Here's the next one, well express your gratitude. I love the words thank you and please. Well we learned it as kids and I love using them even today. Saying thank you and please are like lubricants, the engine of human interaction. Yes, works every time. So be it uh, your laundry guy, be it your friend, be it your colleague, be it the person who opens the door for you. Well, just use the words thank you and please. Yes, these are my favorite, so never ever delete them from your vocabulary. What's the another thing that you can do? Well, reach out to a person in need. Do you know someone uh, who is uh, ill or maybe in the hospital or not doing very well? Well, you're not a doctor to treat them. But what you can do is reach out by choosing one of these things. Well, probably you can send them a text message or you can call to check on them or just send flowers or maybe a small little card. You know, my neighbor did that last year. I had hurt my finger and uh, she made this cute little card which said that, Hey, Deharika, get well soon. And it had a little bandage on that card. And it was so nice of her, you know. She also got me a balloon along with it. And uh, it really made my day. I mean, of course, my finger was still hurting, but it was really sweet of her. So I still have that card. So guys, you can do that too. You know, reach out to the people who need you. Hey, this one is really important. Teach your kids kindness. You know, kids are the future of our world. If you are a parent, or probably you work with young people in a youth organization or in a school, well, you need to raise awareness about the needy. You know, you need to teach them that it is so important for you to be kind. Ask them to share their toys, share their books. You know, if a needy person or a needy kid uh, need books, then you know, ask them to share it with them. So that's definitely really kind. So make sure that you know, kids are the future of the world and you teach them right. Well, here's the 10th little thing 
that you can do as an act of kindness? Listen to someone who has a problem. Well, being a good listener is a great sign that you can display empathy and warmth. Just listen and try not to interrupt with advice. There will be other opportunities for you to do that. So the next time a person just wants you to hear her out or hear him out, please give your ears. Yes, trust me, they would love that. And of course, it's an act of kindness. So friends, if you are a kind person, you will definitely make the world a happier place to be. You know, in fact, there are researchers that uh, people who get into the loop of being kind, it is definitely followed by a feeling of happiness. And of course, they are healthier too. In fact, psychologists call this the helper's high. Isn't that so cool? So if you want to get that helper's high, follow these 10 little things that I just mentioned. They are very little, very small, and just takes about 10 seconds to do it. So spread happiness in this beautiful world and I'll be back with a new session soon. Till then, you take care and let me enjoy this amazing weather out here.